cut three. Y'all, this is a joke. I think some ghosts got in my phone last time, last night. Cut three, take three. Mm. Okay, so I am in the Millville Cemetery um, here in Panama City, Florida. And I am just gonna take y'all on a little tour. And I just wanted y'all to enjoy this little walk with me. And um, I guess I am recording. It's saying so right now. But anyway, um, I was going to give you my face a while ago, but I had to take three. Not that y'all wanted to see it. What I was telling y'all was, this is a historical cemetery. It has been unkept. Um, I guess there's not very many families here anymore. Um, and also, it's still probably a wreck from Hurricane Michael a couple years back. And it's such a shame. Um, I think a graveyard should be honored and taken care of. Um, but there used to be people that did volunteer work and at graveyards, and they probably do that all around the world. But now it seems that they just do that at the bigger graveyards. This is a small graveyard, however. You'll see as we take a walk. And also, I, I, don't, I see a little man over there. Poor soul, he's sitting, probably trying to uh, spend time with his loved one. I was saying earlier, before I had to take three or four or five, but anyway, um, some places there in here are immaculate, um, but there is also <coughs> historic people buried here. <coughs> and I did look up the archives, and uh, I was going to post, but it's uh, it goes back to like 1903. You can look for yourself, something like that. But I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to uh, post it. I was going to, I wanted to, but, um, and I know I post music and stuff like that. I'm not monetized, so it don't really matter, but, but um, the thing was, um, I don't know the way it was worded or something. I just didn't want to take a chance on doing it because I didn't know what all that mumbo jumbo meant. But yeah. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it with this Claire. This is a mother and son. She was born in 1877 and died October 9th of 65. Eighteen ninety six to nineteen sixty five. Look at that tree right there, y'all. Emmett O'Neill, born March 18, 1910. That's Papa, and this is Granny Gladys B. I guess Dykes, born December 24, 1917, to December 13, 2001. These are fairly new. I'm gonna go in here. These might be little children. God, this gate is so small. And the reason I say that, there's a tree. Or, reading glasses. Oh, I can read that. There's no way I can read that. 
1920, 1925. Yeah, see, these are all, I guess that's the, I don't know if those are babies or not. These are nicer up cap. One died in 2018, and one's not dead yet, so that's nicer up cap. 1932, 1914. Yeah, I just think, I wish they would come out here and volunteer and clean these up again. Oh, that man must have left. I don't see him anymore. Cecil Bernard Porter, January 8th, 1908, died 1915. John Porter, U.S. Army, World War I. Night, uh, 1895, he died 1939. Oh. Heritage Funeral Home, 247 North Tyndall Parkway. He died May 7th, 2021. Bless his little heart. That's him right there.
1983 to 1914. Leonor, wife of, I can't read that, G something H Harper. There's some more Harpers over there. Rebecca Brooks, Aunt Tiny. Oh, baby Wilma was born in 1914 and died in 1914. And see the headstones broke. So sad. I see our memory is blessed. everywhere. So oh, we'll just maybe we'll just put them on somebody that don't have none. A joyful mother to her children. Harold Jean Bailey, November 2nd, 1934, to November 3rd, 1934. He li lived one day, and it says, safe in God's hands, and lo, I am with you always. Bless that baby's little heart. At rest, 1900 to 1935. That's just a marker and it don't have a headstone. George Farmer and Mary Jane Farmer. Mm. 
can see this one looks like they put some little pumpkins and stuff out. For angels, look for angels in your life. They are everywhere. James Newton from 1902 to 1968. Avery Newton, 1913 to 1974, and Karen Thomas, 1946 to 2012, and then they had a stillborn Sharon Burnett, and they had a stillborn Martian Thomas. Oh. Put in loving memory, Linda G. Stevens. They put the dates. Your wings were ready, but my heart was not. This is where I saw that little man sitting a while ago. Ain't this sweet? He was an older man. Let's see who he was. Oh. That must have been his wife. November 6, 2021. Woman of faith. Bless his little heart. And let's see over here. This must be his whole family right here. Look, let's see. Oh, look at that fishing pole. And then Nelson Ed Comer Sr. He died in 2020. A great fisherman, beloved husband and father. Well, that might've been his son and daughter-in-law. I don't know. Bless it. Everybody deserves respect and a burial. I don't care who you are, how old you are. Everybody deserves to know where you are. I don't care if you're a Jane Doe, John Doe. missing people, unidentified people. Together forever.
Oh, that's just so sad. Somebody be coming and cleaning all that off. Like the funeral, like the, uh, there's somebody that takes care of the graveyard that does that. But nobody takes care of this graveyard upkeep anymore. Look at that. 